bioprinting of contractile heart muscle tissues and umbilical cord blood banks are just a couple of research and applications showcased in the third Hong Kong and Guangzhou International Conference on Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine hosted by Guangzhou Institutes of Biomedicine and Health and the Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks Corporation. Hong Kong is well positioned to be a research and translational hub for advanced therapies targeted at the Chinese population and the gateway to the China market. At the end of August, the fund has approved funding of some 830 million Hong Kong dollars for more than 430 biomedical related projects. We are really good places for science and innovation and generally we make a bigger difference. Prominent speakers from Canada, Australia, Scotland and the United Kingdom have been invited to share their latest findings. While stem cell and regenerative medicine has painted a great vision for medical treatment in future, its development is experiencing considerable challenges. There are more paths to developing tumors than there are stars in the skies. For the last 25 years, we've been following this oncogene, oncogene, oncogene. Maybe you could be the next leader because we are stuck. The long hand fruits are gone. Outside the conference hall, more insights are offered by over 15 companies involving in different stem cell projects. We are the Gambao 五天時間去做。從前可能你懷疑一個癌症,肺癌先算啦,可能真係要入醫院做個禮拜,開始到落個組織出嚟,而家就唔同啦,而家可能抽脂血,第二日就有結果啦。Stem cell and regenerative medicine is still in its early stage of development in Hong Kong. A major stakeholder in this industry is giving this piece of advice. 我們缺乏動機,我們缺乏平台,但我們而家是缺乏的 是我們的相關的標準和政策去支持。參考國外,講得明白一點就是FDA或歐盟的一些關於這麼先進合法的指引,等我們可以更加放心大膽去做這件事。